Circumcision gone wrong results in almost completely amputated genitals. So this is really tragic. On September 5th, a baby was rushed to the hospital in northern Israel after his circumcision went wrong, with his genitals being almost completely amputated. The baby was taken to uh, Haifa's Rambam Healthcare Campus, where three surgeons performed a long and incredibly complicated operation. Dr. Akram Asadi stated he had never seen such a severe injury due to circumcision in his 20 years as a surgeon. Later, it was found out that the mohel, or the person who performs the Jewish rite of circumcision, was uncertified and did not undergo the required training. Israeli media reported that it's too early to say if the surgery was successful, however, permanent damage is expected. Fortunately, the injury wasn't life-threatening, and the baby is reportedly in stable condition. According to the media reports, the child's parents knew this mohel, who was also who also circumcised their eldest son. But such incidents can still occur, especially if the mohel isn't well trained. This is such a nightmare. God damn, these parents should be in jail. Everybody here should be in jail. Oh my god, no kidding. God damn, imagine like so how how is like he's gonna grow up with what? We don't is know. He gonna... Oh my god. God I, I hope they could like can they meet he, he didn't lose, he didn't lose his balls, did he? So he has his balls. Know. Can they can they make the rest of it? Is that how we got him to that point scientifically? This is such a nightmare. God damn it. They take me out of this I mean, nightmare. Even, I mean, Armin, you have to think about it. This is an infant. So his anatomy still has to grow and change and develop throughout his lifespan. So any intervention that they make now is going to have to have reparative and reconstructive surgeries, corrective surgeries, probably multiple times throughout his life. Oh, my God. He's probably going to be robbed out of his normal sex life, right? Yeah. He's not, never gonna have. It's not like you're not gonna be able to have a functioning like, like th that area down there, man. Like if you mess it up, like you are you're screwed. Like it's not like even even healthy people sometimes struggle. Imagine if you. It's just not like there's nothing there, like or like it's like what a, a guy. Like I don't know. This is so bad. But imagine like how much you hate your parents for this. I mean, I would be hating my parents. The levels of I... depression that this will likely cause in adulthood are extreme. Think about how alienated this child will feel as he grows up, knowing how different he is from all the other kids around him. Yeah, and he's always... Because kids are smart. You're going to know that something's wrong. You're going to know that you're different. People are going to make fun of you for it. You know, I almost felt a little bit guilty for the parents because they were going to blame themselves for this. Just I almost felt guilty, for, bad for them, but you know what? They deserve all the guilt that they're gonna feel. I honestly feel that they deserve all the. They, they have to. But imagine being the parent, knowing this is what you did to your boy. This is what you did to your baby boy. Look at him. You did this. You did this. Because of your goddamn god and goddamn stupid idiots. You idiots. All of you who do this, you're such morons. You cut your baby. You're barbaric. All of you. Muslims, any Christian who still does this, Jewish people, you're barbaric. You're morons. You cut your babies. Disgusting. You, you like, mutilate your you. children's genitals. Fuck this is all mutilation. You. Even when it goes right, quote unquote, it's mutilation. Because someone in the live chat here makes a very good point. Masi is saying, it will never be successful in any case. There's always permanent damage. And technically, they're right. The results of a circumcision are permanent damage. I shouldn't have sworn. Guys, this is gonna, this video is gonna get, this video already has a good problem, sorry. It's okay, Armin. I mean, it's something worth getting upset over, seriously. Yeah. And what I find really frustrating is, so obviously this was reported mostly in Jewish and Israeli media, like none of it attributes this to the fundamental problem of circumcision. Like none of them actually talk about why this happens in the first place. Why does this occur? 
it's because of the fundamental barbarism of male genital mutilation to begin with. Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to address this. You were saying so, uh, child not feeling different is why many atheists still do this to their kids. Uh, yeah, and fuck them too, by the way. Um, if you like are worried not about feeling different, what does that mean? Like they want them to be like circumcised like other kids, oh. so that they don't feel different. If they, first of all, um, you don't cut people just to make them look like other cut people. You don't mutilate. Oh, other kids are mutilated, so let's mutilate my child just because they are. If a child grows and uh, grows old to do want to do like, oh, I don't like my dick like this. Yeah, they could grow when they are eighteen. They could make that decision for themselves. Okay, let them make that decision for themselves. This is not your position to force that upon a baby that is being that has nobody else to protect them but you. You are being trusted with the well-being of a child, and you're betraying that trust. If they ch want that, they can choose that as an adult, especially when they're adult enough to use anesthetics. You know, babies, they can't put anesthetics on them. They feel all of that. And fuck you if you think it's okay because they're going to forget it. They're feeling it as you're doing it. They're going through pain, extreme amount of pain. This is torture. The fact that they're going to forget it doesn't mean that they're not feeling it at that moment. There's no excuses for this. This should be a crime. Every doctor that does this, not, not just this, this Jewish like uh, mumbo jumbo religious people, even the doctors who do this, they should all go, lose their license forever and go to jail for it as well. The parents should go to jail as well. Every parent that circumcises their child should go to, to jail. I can't believe that there's a state state sanctioned way in which you get certified as a mohel. Like, I mean, technically, if you have, if you're gonna, there's gonna be this institution and this practice. It's better than having it completely unregulated. But still, the idea of this being like state sanctioned and supported is so freaking crazy to me. And it's something that occurs, you know, within America too. Like circumcision is very common in America, um, but way less so than in Europe, for example. Um, wait, there were some other good comments I wanted to highlight. And I, in Yuval's defense, I don't think he was endorsing this at all. I think he was just explaining the mentality. Um, Yuval is also saying, there's a growing group of non-circumcising parents in Israel. Excellent. It's actually quite surprising how many atheists still do it in Israel. Same thing in America. There's tons of completely non-religious people that do this. Um, it's that comes from religion, though, just to be clear. Yeah. Even when atheists do it, it's because of the influence of religion. And tradition, yeah. Um, forever I mean, tradition, no, no, um, not, not a tradition. All the traditions that make you circumcise your child is the tradition that is, comes from religion. It's This whole cutting your yes. genitals is because of, like, I don't know, Abraham Blood made the sacrifice. promise to Yahweh. Yeah. No. You know, it was Yahweh, just like it, there was a deal between Yahweh and Abraham. That's, that's where it comes from. But yeah. yeah, it's blood sacrifice. Um, yeah. Forever Stormy is saying some babies are born with phimosis. This is one of the rare exceptions where circumcision yes. is actually recommended. Um, no one except a doctor should be allowed near a baby boy. Exactly. Um, so the only, the only, the only uh, babies that should be circumcised is like less than 1% of the population and they have a serious mm -hmm. issue and they need that. Okay. So it's a medical thing. Yeah. yeah. D is saying this is a Jewish tradition. Parents are told that they have to. Yeah. Um, and doorknob head is saying robbed out of a normal sex life. I'd say life threatening the way religion often encourages kids to attack folks with dysphoria too, often leads to problems, including, um, I can't say this word for YouTube, so I will say self deletion. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Shriash is saying, I know guys who want to get a circumcision because they see American, adult video content. I can't say the P word, the, the prawn. Um, they see American prawn and think their foreskin doesn't retract properly. Well, that's Yeah. Bad. Well, I mean, if that, you can do that as an adult, you could, you're completely fine. If you don't, if you don't like the way it looks and you want to do a surgery and make it look differently, you're completely fine to do it. You can't do that to your baby. If as an adult, if you want to do that, go for it. Okay. 
um, especially because as an adult, you get to use anesthetics. A baby, they, you, I don't understand why they do it, especially at a time that you can't use anesthetics. Like mm. they don't, it's, it's, it's Eight crazy. Eight days like, after birth. Eight days. Yeah. No, so Ian is asking what, the, uh, didn't they use anesthesia during the procedure? No, they don't. They, they feel all of it. You can't use that on babies. Okay. It's harmful anesthesia. It's maybe harm, uh, local. No, maybe they don't. No, no, no. We had an expert. They said they don't. If it's if it's a baby, they don't use it. You know, oh and God. they no, they're feeling all that. You imagine a sharp object at your genitals. Okay, the baby is feeling all of that, all of that, and the pain is not. People are like, oh, maybe babies don't feel uh, pain as much as we do. They do. They do. They feel all of that. Maybe even more. Okay, so it's it, just imagine right now somebody coming at your genitals with a knife. Now imagine this helpless little baby feeling all of that. This is. This is a human rights violation. This is like this. This is one of the greatest human. Like as we're speaking right now, babies are being tortured around the world. They're screaming and they're feeling sharp objects being put on the genitals, and they're feeling every second of that, every little bit of that. And after, and the pain stays with them for a long time after the procedure is over. This is barbaric, and this is normal. And this. Even in civilized countries, apparently this is normal. They would just like do it. Like, mm -hmm. hey, let's just torture babies. Is As this what's wrong to an adult? Go on. Bread of Life is saying, when my oldest was born, the hospital acted like it was standard procedure. We didn't do it, though. Thank you. Good job, Rebecca. Um, Yuval is saying, in the United States, it was done to suppress sexual urges, endorsed by Kellogg's, a.k.a. the originator of Kellogg's cereal, who was an extremely psycho puritan puritanical pure pure puritanical pure, puritanical puritanical person <laughs> i can't talk and he also supported fgm yeah, um uh, yeah it's so that. crazy um yeah imagine they do this to an adult people would be outraged imagine if you just like go and grab like a i don't know 40 year old man and just put him in a van and just tie him down and then cut his genitals like just like not cut just like put sh like short out. Just take a little bit of the skin, okay? Oh, like the guy is screaming. You just take off some of the skin, okay? Oh imagine, imagine the scenario. People, if they hear that if you did that to a forty-year-old man, people would be outraged. But apparently, if you do that to a helpless baby, you won't get outraged. Why would you get outraged when they do that to a forty-year-old man against their will? But if you do it against a baby against their will, all of a sudden it becomes okay. I don't understand what's the, why one of them is. Okay. What's the difference? What yeah, I so think um, Trells is also bringing up the good point. Even the case of phimosis, the notion that a full foreskin am amputation is needed is probe cutting propaganda. Proper doctors will still preserve as much of the foreskin as possible. And Darko is saying his life is destroyed before he even started. And I think that's like really how we need to think about this. Like this person's ability to experience the essential human need of experiencing intimacy with a mate has been completely, I mean, just destroyed before he ever had any chance. It's horrific. Like the levels of depression and loneliness that this will probably cause in this individual are life altering. Yeah. By the way, my dad asked, um, my dad says that one of the things he regrets the most uh, is that he circumcised us. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he apologized for it. He was almost crying. Oh, yeah. what was that experience like for you? I don't know. I was two hours old. Two hours. Yeah. No, 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 not not the experience of circumcision, but your father apologizing for it, considering how much rage mm -hmm. you hold against these parents who allowed this to happen to their son, and saying that they deserve every second of guilt that they experience, and then your yeah. dad coming to you with that personal regret that he says had and I'm, apologizing to you. Like, what was that like? I am, I, I'm much for, more forgiving when things happen to me than when it happens to other people, because I am in a position to forgive. I can't mm -hmm. forgive on behalf of other people. Right. So, but uh, I mean, if somebody knows that they did something wrong, then I accept that they know they're a better person than they were before. Right. So I can, I will judge them. I judge who you are now not judge who you were before like you are a different you're somebody new so how could i like you know 
and he feels guilty and i think it's good that uh, you i mean i i say like they should go through the guilt and my dad is going through the guilt so what else can you ask for mm. Mm. Yeah. i don't know i think um more people need to be outraged over the normalization yeah. of male circumcision in fact i think it should just be called male genital mutilation i think that's more honest um yeah and people act like it's something that's not a big deal but it's a huge deal it's a huge deal i didn't used to yeah. take it this seriously but now i really do thank you i also hate the fact that people don't take it people who take fgm female genital mutilation very seriously um and don't give a damn about male genital mutilation right i understand if you want to be like okay fgm is like more damaging all right i accept that we, they usually are but to not care at all about like be so serious about ma uh, female genital mutilation and not even give a crap about male genital mutilation is kind of i think it's a bit sexist it, it's not even a bit it's horrifically sexist yeah it's actually very sexist yeah you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.